Welcome back dude, series Hanging Grandpa. Today we'll talk about the best tier 6 MBT premium in the freaking game. Here is the tanks, here are the tanks uh, that I have. And the only one that I don't have it is the T72 M2 Wilk. He's the same, nearly the same as the T72 B. And I'm gonna show you right now. Here is the B. So if I had to compare uh, this one and this one uh, before we're going to start, you know, talking about um, not such a big difference, but even though it was, a, I will not take in consideration for this, uh, you know, uh, comparison and uh, review or preview or whatever you want to call it, you know, so premium vehicles only the tier 6 so here we go i'm gonna switch now so we have uh, the kpz 70 mbt 70 maga 7a shongun 915 wz 1224 and xm1 now let's start with the kampanzer 70 bunzevar something like this is pronounced i hope so uh, difference between this one and the MBT-70, it's not so much, slightly. So, I'm going to send the KPZ to Bizerve. We're not going to take in consideration in um, this compound. The next one, it is the Magar 7A. And um, this tank, uh, it's, it's good. We talk about it and uh, I'm going to keep it. The next one, it is the Shongun 915. Um really decent tank only pros and cons it is that he has some ATGM launchers which gives you some freaking good damage they're sitting on top of the turret which i like it and you have a gun so i'm gonna keep this tank the next one here is the wz1224 i played a lot of well not a lot but a few games even yesterday and so on um when i see this video has been days ago uh but to be honest um it's not man like i was doing side scrape and i was getting ammo racked engine frontally penetrated um no no the next one here is the xm1 another thing that i've got it as the wz for free in the um, crates um it's a fairly good tank but not one of the best ones since the turret itself it's quite high and you can see that this area it's easily being penetrated frontally it can be easily penetrated and um, upper plate yeah it helps lower plate sometimes not always but this is a tank made for sniping so start with this one so sustain damage based on the AP rounds if I switch to heat you will see that it goes to 3.5k if i switch to atgm it goes to 3.7k damage so it depends by what ammo you use on this tank reload in 12 seconds you will need retrofits uh if you want to reload faster you can do it i use just improved filter ventilation um pioneer toolkit and survivability kit on this tank the reload type time for this tank it's it's fairly good you have uh, the ability of hydraulic suspension you go up and down um 2700 hit points not so much but decent i can say armor frontally it's not so good but you can get some penetrations from lieutenants and some superior tanks frontally in the upper plate turret lower plate and so on so this is a, a mix between an mbt and a light tank mobility wise 65 kilometers an hour it's fine don't try to do ramming with this tank it it does a bit of ramming but not so much uh utility it has 415 meters vision range while moving so you you can do some sniping or cheeky shots if you want to say gun depression gun elevation 10 to 14 so um yeah uh it has gun gun depression quite a lot uh gun elevation not so much 
it is a very big target when it comes to um, tr6 because it's very wide the turret is also freaking big it nearly has the chassis and uh, despite of the skin whatever uh, which doesn't help but it's cool to look at the tank itself um, it is a fairly good tank and uh, I have enjoyed playing with him roughly 193 matches uh, range of 81.1% win rate and 61.5 kills efficiency so I am um, enjoyed with this tank it played a lot of matches and it's a really fun tank to play with uh, the tank used to be better than it is today but uh, it got a lot of upgrades and uh, a lot of uh, minuses because it was too good but in in all total the tank is fine let's check the hydraulic suspension so you can do some push-ups if you want to with this tank but when it comes to let's say higher targets or some other tanks i highly encourage to use ap rounds you know but when you have some tanks uh, you can use also heat and so on so the tank itself is very very good um as you may see this thing on top of the turret is that uh, where you can use for spotting it's a really powerful gun uh, it reminds me of um, Canoniac Panzer from uh, World of Tanks and other tanks you know uh, it's a really good punching gun the WZ has a very similar gun but the tank itself it's much worse than this one so that's why it's not in our comparison Magar 7A this tank I've uh, got it in a crate last year uh, during winter um, I was happy that I've got it uh, I was looking to it to get it if I'm gonna get let's say a discount or something like this it has the same issue as the XM1 but it's fairly stronger than the XM1 um, yeah the armor itself uh, it's placed very well frontally and so on it can tame some pounding and you can play freaking aggressive with this one let's start it has uh, 500 penetration for 15 damage around 4.7 damage k okay, you know reloads in 5.77 seconds so this is with the improved gun breach the tank is fairly decent if you switch the ammo obviously the damage it changes and penetration changes and so on um let's go to defense it has 2.8k so a much higher hp than mbt and armor also so with this tank you can play as i said aggressive you can ram you can go in spot but beware some atgms can penetrate and can kill you it's fairly decent uh when it comes to mobility is very decent utility it is for 20 meters while moving for 90 meters while being stopped due to retrofits targeting gun elevation gun depression 10 to 90 degrees if i enjoy with this tank yeah i enjoy playing the only problem it is that it gets set on fire pretty fast uh, this huge engine reminds me or rear of uh, t110 e3 e4 pattern and so on because it is on a chassis of a pattern you know only the turret has been modified or upgraded or whatever but uh it's a freaking good tank and uh no abilities this tank has no ability um i have a few matches played with him yeah just five of them um a tank made for close combat aggressive uh, fighting or even sniping if you desire this um i use heat and ap for this tank um it's quite a good you know, maneuverable tank you, you don't need so much to complain about it um when it comes to the view range as you may see i can see other tanks over so uh it's not it's not a bad bad tank for spotting uh good gun but certainly for close combat and you will see this tank only when you fight with him in close combat when it comes to um let's say uh, uh ap rounds you well you will do some damage but not so much as with the heat with heat you're mostly gonna get bounces 
but with the AP the damage it isn't so high like uh, we can still try on this Sheridan to see the damage so 398 399 around 440 in good cases 480 okay let's go to Shangu 9115 this tank is from the battle path you can get it only from there or from battle shop uh, and if you like it from the game store whatever um, it has two ATGM launchers an AP round you know main gun and uh, it's very decent I can say as a tank when it comes to armor not the best one but you can play with this tank like a fire support something like an AFV so let's start um, Sustain damage it says nearly 4k damage per minute at 568 damage with 440 millimeters penetration reloads in 8.4 seconds if you have retrofits. Then I have um, AI targeting system for the ATGM. I have a ballistic computer aiming speed for the ATGM and the main gun and improved gun breach v2 to reload faster on both of them guns. Um, yeah, penetration 700 on ATGM. If you switch, as with others, yeah, obviously it, it changes and you will have a different type of a damage here or whatever, you know. When it comes to defense, you have 2.2k health points, so slightly less, but a bit more than MBT. 70 km an hour, this tank it is fast, obviously, it is fast, it's made for you know, aggressive or whatever. 10 meters uh, vision range while moving so um, it's a good tank when it comes to sniping and I highly encourage you you choose some other commanders so you need some commanders or lieutenants for the tanks to perform wise gun elevation gun depression um, 7 this 15. tank it's quite intricate because you have to play with him as an AFV uh, maneuverability it's quite fine acceleration is also fine view range is also fine uh, ammos and damage output it's also fine so let's wait for the ATGM or you can play just AP or with just with the machine gun and um, you can do both you know so you can do the switch between guns and so on you can do a lot of damage uh, while just shooting one tank and so on or two tanks or if you're surrounded by a lot of tanks, you can do this. It has the ability overrun. Know your positions on the map. Because it's a tank made for uh, ambushes, something like that. This is not made for uh, aggressive playing. But you can play aggressive you if you have the needs to do because of the missions and so on. So which of these three tanks do you guys think that uh, it's... The best MBT because some of them are obtainable or not but we're gonna put them as which one of them it is the best premium MBT at tier 6 currently in the game obtainable or not whatever in my opinion uh, it is the Shongun 915 why because the game turned out to be very aggressive the AI is aggressive you get more superior tanks, more tanks to kill, more health to deal with. So currently the game is freaking aggressive. Uh, the PvE is aggressive. The PvP is still the same as it used to be. But the PvE it's aggressive and um, you need tanks with a lot of a lot of guns and also abilities. Magash is only good for some missions as to block and to go and spot and assist. But has no ability and just one gun the mbt it has the same problem as the magash but only it has the ability to go up and down um but it has a punching gun but not so much armor so uh, this tank relies a lot of on his gun and mostly of the matches uh, the gun is very damaged or the turret or the engine or the I don't know all the entire turret can be freaking damaged so in my opinion the best tier 6 premium 
currently is obtainable through battle shop and game store and so on it is the shongun 915 so shongun 915 it's the best tier 6 premium uh, mbt in the game peace out guys